Hey guys, John here with AccessoryGeeks.com. I'm going to be covering the batteries that we carry on our website um, just to kind of give you an idea of what's available for your cell phone. Now a lot of you are aware that we do carry OEM batteries, but we also carry aftermarket batteries as well as OEM extended batteries and aftermarket extended batteries. I'm going to go over the little differences between the two and then kind of give you an idea of um, how the batteries are changing just depending on the type of phone that you're using. So um, to go on, I'm going to use this BlackBerry Bold um, as our example. And the standard battery on this is about 1500 milliamps. And we do have in front of you um, two different types of extended batteries as well as a standard aftermarket battery. And this is basically going to be about, I would say, 1200, 1300 milliamps. So it's a little, it's 200 milliamps less than the standard um, original from BlackBerry. But that's not going to really, you're not going to notice too much in um, performance. Um, it's going to be a really great replacement and it's going to be affordable. Uh, the price difference between aftermarket batteries and OEM batteries are pretty um, pretty big. There's actually a big difference between the two and the quality isn't going to be that much of a difference. So it's going to be peace of mind um, depending on which one you want to buy. So if you're more interested in you know, having the brand name within the battery, then you can buy the OEM one. But if you're okay with the price, the aftermarkets are actually a very comparable um, replacement and they all work very well with um, the cell phones that they're intended to be used for. Now, the other batteries that we have in front of you are uh, two different types of aftermarket extended batteries. We have one from Sadio, which I would consider more on the upper tier of aftermarket batteries. Um, their batteries, as you can see, are really well designed. This one is about, let me see, um, 2,700 milliamps. So it's almost about 1,000 milliamps more than, actually 1,200, milliamps more than a standard battery so obviously you're going to have an increased talk time but the big thing you're going to notice about Sadio is their back covers are very well designed as you can see it's really good quality and I'll show you how it looks on the Blackberry Bold so we have our standard battery in there and let me just go ahead and pop this on there whoops I actually pressed music well, there you go. So here's the Sadio case, or the extended battery, on the back of a BlackBerry Bold 9700. And of course, there is going to be an added um, thickness to the phone because you are using an extended battery, but I would assume that, you know, because you are purchasing an extended battery, you're going to be well aware of that. Um, the next one we have is this a standard extended battery, which isn't from any particular um, company, but, as you can see, the fitment of such plastic case is still the same. The design obviously is going to be a little different than the Sadio, but with the Sadio you are going to be paying more. So it's going to be, uh, you're going to have to do kind of like an analysis on what's going to be more important to you. Um, the standard or the extended um, aftermarket battery is 2600 milliamps um, compared to the 2700 milliamps. But like I said, you're not going to notice that much of a difference. So it's really going to come down to price as far as which one is going to be best for you. So moving on with um, batteries. So that's just kind of covering the BlackBerry Bold battery. A lot of the new HTC phones as well as the Samsung phones, their extended batteries are like this. This one's about 1750 milliamps. This is for the HTC Incredible. Now the Incredible stock milliamp is about 1300 milliamps. So you know, this is a little increase, about 450 milliamp increase. But as you can see, the thickness remains the same. So a lot of the new phones that are coming out, particularly HTC and Samsung, the batteries are going to stay relatively thin um, when you buy a standard or if you buy an extended. So just keep in mind that you're not going to always need an extended back cover. Um, is this all going to depend on the type of phone that you're going to use? So this is a quick video covering the types of batteries that we sell at AccessoryGeeks.com. If you guys have any questions regarding milliamps or, or different types of phones and whether or not they require extended battery doors, please leave a comment and I will address it the best I can. Until next time, this is John with AccessoryGeeks.com reminding you, you got it from a geek.